Hey guys, so today I will be showing you how to import a 5.1 audio into Audacity. So first you're going to have to open up Audacity. And then, and then you go to preferences. You need to in install the FMPEG library version. And if you didn't download this, it would say FMPEG not found. So you go to download. <clears throat> and you hit the one that you're going to. So you go to the download page. And then you download the recommended version. Yeah, so you download the recommended version. I'm oh not this one. this one this one this is the one right here. So then after you download that, you go to it's gonna you go back to Audacity and then you hit locate and it's gonna say success and Audacity is automatically detected valid FMPEG libraries. Do you still want to locate them manually? You just click now. You hit OK. And then you go to Safari. And then you look for. And this is the only one I really have. That's the 5.1 AC3 file. So you download this right here and you click download. And then you go into Audacity, and then you hit Import Audio. Go to um, you go to this one, and then open, and you hit this one. It's gonna take a little while to import so let's give it a second it, it really depends on how big like how long the movie is it's gonna the um the time it, it's almost done couple seconds. go. There are your six channels. So, you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, one, two, five, and six are just the music. And, and this one is nothing at all. The third one, and the third one is just the talking and the sound effects. So let's just listen. Let's, 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 let's listen to one. And so it just says that. Yeah, so just the. Okay, so it's just, and then, and then you just, so the one that you probably want is the central channel, which just has the dialogue and the sound effects. So you just click, so you just click the ones you don't want. So you click like this one, this one, and this one, and that's it. And then you hit export, 
and then it exports. And then you can export the audio, but I'm not going to do that because I probably already did. So, so that's basically how you do it. 